here's one way you can extend a roof overhang a little farther than the average which is uh, between 12 inches and maybe 24 inches on a gable end part section of a roof so a lot of times we just have the roof rafters that go down from the ridge to the wall sit on top of the wall and the attached to the fascia board and this would just run all the way through now if you're going to go a little bit farther then you could always use a method like this and first thing I'd like to point out is this method might not work on all construction projects pay attention to that these are just examples of things I have seen done or built in the past now if you are going to use a system like this wouldn't be a bad idea to use the um, cantilever the standard math for a cantilever or an overhang which is one-third protruding out two two-thirds protruding back that would be let's just say that you were going to stick out three feet here then you would need to be back six feet here so that would be three feet one-third three feet another third and then three feet for your other third so if we divided that into three we want a three foot overhang we are going to need to double this length and have it return back so three feet doubled is going to be six feet that's going to be the minimum most of the time the size of the lumber that you will need um, I really can't help you with that I'm not an engineer just kind of providing you with an example here I don't think you could use 2x4 for something like this. If you had 2x4 rafters and you were going to go back, or if you had a truss system, if you had a truss roof system, this system might not work. This is a conventionally framed system, um, and it wouldn't really work with engineered um, designs like a roof truss system. So here we actually have the... Um, let's just say the roof joists um, cantilevering out and we have the last one coming out here and then we have a couple going down and the reason why we're doing this is to try and make pick up the section and make it a little stronger because this area over here at the end it's not going to be very strong the second example that I'm going to provide you with will provide you with a better method or something that would be a little stronger this particular method right here might work on something where you have an overhang sticking out 24 inches might work on a um, one that's sticking out um, 36 inches but I don't know how weak this area would be if you went out any farther than that just kind of keeping that in mind we can see here it's just a simply roof rafters double joist up to here um, sitting on top of a wall you would need to frame a wall for the joist to sit on top of and that would be it so I hope this kind of makes sense as an example here let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next example here's the second method you will simply use roof rafters continue them through and they will sit on top of a beam that will project out the width um, of the overhang simple and easy there's the beam rafter sitting on top and again some of these methods are simple a little easier to uh, to explain than a uh, little more complicated ones this one here does not look that complicated beam in a wall sticking out size of the beam again I don't know what you would use that would be up to you and your engineer or local building authorities so there we have a nice view of what it would look like underneath and that is the side of it so I hope that makes sense a beam this is the second method um, there are other methods you can use to create a roof overhang. It all depends upon what type of a design you're going to uh, be looking for. But there are two of them. Let me know if uh, you like them by hitting the old thumbs up button. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area. And I will answer them as soon as possible.